Hello everyone. Today we will see how to set a calculation node with static and dynamic element in robot and with steel, wood and concrete materials. So first of all we will uh, create screenshots but a dynamic screenshot in robot. So you can display what you want in 2D or in 3D or in table. Here you can see, here you can see uh, the first level with a wall and slab, and you can display the name and properties if needed. Okay, and in fact, all what you display will be recorded, and after you can just screen capture, and as you see, it will be an update when you will launch the printing. Okay, or if you don't want, you can check not to be updated. Okay. So uh, until you will look your result, for example, on column or something like that, you will create screenshots. Even it, even it's at the end, it will change. It's not a problem because it will be updated. So here I will look at my result on, on beams, columns, and uh, I display result. And after, I can take a screenshot. Okay. So, if I look at result in table, it's the same. Here, if I look only at simple case, I can change a unit if I prefer tones, for example. And I can switch uh, from one column to another, check or unchecked column and once I've done all mm, what uh, I need okay change from case object in state of object case I just um, can save this as a table next time I will launch this table it will be like that and after I just have to uh, take a screenshot a dynamic screenshot with robot functionality okay and i can have another table for displacement it will be the same okay so now i will um, go to uh, to have a result on maps so I will choose uh, on my finite element to have the total displacement, as you can see. Okay, and I can uh, choose with finite element or not, all results or only a maximum and minimum result, extreme points like this. And same, I can take a screenshot. I can isolate some part of the structure if needed take in, an, in a view which is uh, easier to analyze okay and I can add point if needed like this apply and uh, of course I can have, have isoline instead of map and if I want if I need I can export this in DXF or DWG okay save as and just have to, to, to say and of course after you will have the, the result uh, in AutoCAD like this and every uh, kind of line will be in a layer so it's easy to tune and it will be of course at the same size of the uh, robot file in Meter or in other unit if it was in other unit so same if you need to have a result of model analysis okay you can display your dynamic analysis result you can filter or not you can switch some columns okay and you can add for example uh, the limit period according to Eurocode 8 Okay, and 
after you can take a screenshot and of course you have the calculation node or if all the number of finite element nodes okay and the um, spectrum when you've done that you just have to save or if you don't want now screen capture same way okay and give a name and say if it's current or if it has to be updated okay yeah updated it's usually better so now we look at results on finite element and beams according to FEM we can switch to uh, post treatment according to uh, your record in steel so here I do the calculation and as you can see you have the result and you can create the calculation notes but here there is an editor of all calculation not needed which you can save or not you see at the end I've saved and here I have in the result okay so can close same for assembly okay I will create an assembly or calculated if if not up to date I created here so of course you can parameter have more option after you will do the calculation according to all code combination and you will have the calculation notes you can do for other uh, element and connected with the 3d model or not if it's not connected you just have to choose uh, your uh, own uh, bending moment and sharing okay usually it's connected but sometimes same after for timber okay if I have uh, something in timber in my file in plus like this you can do the same time of calculation with timber and as it's very close to steel in um, display you will have a result storage at the end of the calculation so you can configure it and save it back okay so after you can display directly like in still simple uh, result okay or you will see after a more detailed result full notes it's say okay on all our selected elements and you can save some parts every everything uh, to the full calculation we will see at the end okay so here you have properties of beam and you can create a calculation note of beam properties if needed okay and you can save it to the main notes or directly send it to uh, Excel or Word as you can see so here I take a screen capture so this screen capture will be in the main notes so now we will move to concrete so of course you can display uh, needed reinforcement in beams and uh, on slab but you have a column footing in plus in real finite element so here if i select the footing okay so in fact first the node and so then i go to um, design real uh, reinforced concrete elements so he asked me the code 
after I can go to my level and choose my footing. So I will, of course, choose uh, the value of the soil. Okay. And there is, of course, some element to, to verify it. And you do the calculation, and after you have uh, the result. You have, of course, the real reinforcement, all properties, and the calculation notes, and if needed, the plan, of course. And same, if you want, you can save it to the main notes. Just go to uh, an uh, result, calculation notes, and file, screen capture. So once we have done this, we can do quite the same, of course, for beam, for column. So I will select a beam just uh, so you can see. OK, because the calculation note is a little bit different. So here I have all the elements. So my beam, of course, has to be calculated. So here you can see the real reinforcement. All the results display graphically and the calculation notes, and if needed, the plan. So I can come back to my beam. And same, uh, after I can create the calculation note and save it to my uh, main calculation node. So once you have done this, you have all the elements in trees, inspector objects, steel, wood, tim timber, we can say, and concrete. So if I come back to the main element and I choose um, all my main display, I will create my main calculation notes so here in printout so i have all my screenshot plus standard element so i will add some standard element and some screenshot okay depending of what kind of screenshot you have done you will maybe use load case load value load combination or not okay and after, I will put all the post treatment in steel and wood. So connector, member verification in steel and wood. And once I've done this, I can save it to a new template. So you can put the name you want. OK. And so when you will come back to another file, you, you can ask this template, OK? Once you've done this, you can preview your calculation notes. OK. And if you look that something is not really uh, what you expect, OK? You can edit, okay? Since here you're not in Word, you're still in robot. Here it will show you exactly the same view when you have created the screenshot, and you can change some element. Maybe I want some deformation like this, okay? And return back to preview, okay? So if you have a node computer, you can switch to simplified preview but usually now it's not a problem so you can look what we've done once you done it you want to tune the top and bottom of the page and first page so you can close and here you can go in page setup okay and you choose size of the paper okay the orientation, margins, the header and footers. 
So here you can add uh, text, you can add picture, you can add what you want, and you have variable as you can see. Okay. So variables, it's what you will have in parameter, and we will see how to to put it uh, from a easy ways and here all these elements. So if I come back here, you have headers, okay, and footers. So you can choose add, not display, and here at the bottom you have uh, table properties and you can save frame if you don't want. So if I come back, you see job properties, you can select which office has been created. So it can be the office uh, who do the job, the uh, architect, the um, control office, maybe you can add elements like this. And so after here, it will be filled. You see here, I've done this calculation not in Grenoble, so it's filled Grenoble. Okay. And I can save this uh, page setup to another template. Okay. And here you can ask uh, this parameter. So I will set uh, a name and just save. Okay, so you can save template of what is in the note and template of how uh, to display the note. Once you've done both, usually we go uh, to Word, okay, and you you will have all this uh, display. And it's uh, we can say a real title one, title two. That's why it's all uh, automatic and up to date. So here it's all what we have uh, display in print screen or in calculation notes or in uh, dynamic analysis, model analysis, as we can see. And we will find everything. This is concrete after they should have been steel and wood. Okay. So. Well, usually when we don't do a calculation out of all, okay, but here since I want to do, do uh, 10 video, I do one where there is everything, okay. So of course you can do only steel, only concrete, only um, dynamic analysis if needed, or you can do all. So Thank you for following this. So you can follow uh, us on Autodesk France on Twitter and our blog Village Beam or our colleague blog Geospatial Made in France, ABCD blog or Civil Made in France. Thank you.